at the big bad boy that we have today here on Passy Skin. We're doing Loot Crate DX. Yes, the DX crates. As always, they are the big bad boys of the Loot Crate giveaway thingies. They do. Let's see what's inside of this one for the month of December. I'm pretty sure that the theme for this one was magical. Same as the main crate was, but we didn't have the main crate to do this one, so we don't, can't really compare the difference between the Loot Crate and the Loot Crate DX. We just have the DX as the ones that we're going to do. So let's take a look on the inside. Ooh, I like this. The Witcher. Pretty nice piece of artwork on the top of it. As always, the Loot Crate DXs have these really nice prints on the top doors of the boxes, which makes them really nice for display purposes whenever you turn them inside out. It's something I haven't really done with the materials here on the channel because I don't really need to have that many boxes kind of sitting behind me. But um, I might do that in the future because I'm going to be having less of these around, so I might actually use the artwork from previous ones to kind of like articulate what's going on behind me in the on the shelves, you know, it might actually be worthwhile. So, let's grab the piece of wearable and take it straight out into the wide so you can get to see me and my glorious stuff. Hey guys, how's it going? We're almost done with the loot crates. We're on, we're on our last legs, we're on the last laps, we're on the last bits and pieces of the loot crate here at Pastiche of Skin. Only because uh, I haven't heard the voices of the crowds out there telling me that it needs to stay. We need to hear more of this. We want to hear about your opinions on the stuff that comes inside these boxes. Well, since you haven't said that, these crates are going to have to stop coming. And um, I have to stop using my time to edit these together. But until then, until they stop arriving, we will actually bring every single last crate I can to you. So what have we got for clothing this time? Obviously we've got a hoodie and I'm looking at that and I'm starting to wonder what it actually says on it. Because I see the front and back of it. The night is dark and full. Oh, right. I was looking at this and going like, is this actually a video game hoodie? It's not a video game hoodie. It's actually, well, let's bring it, see if we can get it up here and get you to be able to see it. So, uh, this is going to be interesting because it's going to be very hard to read with the text on it. But I'll read it out for you. The night is dark and full of terrors. Game of Thrones. I'm assuming this is actually something that one of you guys that are actually massive fans of Game of Thrones will understand. I have sadly stopped watching since season two. I know, it's an unpopular opinion, I'm not, I just, I'm not driven into it. I actually really love the political intrigue and the plotting of that show, but I really don't like the rest of it. Um, I don't, uh, I don't care. I mean, uh, literally, I, I got, like, you know, like, the death count kind of thing, just kind of went, oh, oh, right, oh, oh, that happened. Okay, so who's left that I remember? No one? Alright, okay. Well, in that case, uh, no point in me watching the show anymore, is there? So, uh, of course, it's being shot over here in Ireland, a lot of the material for it, so... Um, I, I hear bits and pieces of the plot as I go along, but I don't really care about holding on to the continuity or the spoilers, so I, I won't talk about them here, but you guys might actually be more concerned about it. But yeah, of course, there's actually artwork on the front of the hoodie as well. Now, this is a big hoodie, it's nice, um, but I'm not a fan of, of like, head pull over hoodies. These, these don't tend to feel, like, that comfy on me, and oh, oh, the inside of it is nice and fleecy, so this is definitely a winter wear jumper. This is for, uh, winter enjoyment. Let's see, I'll get this thing on me. <laughs> Oh. Woo! It's warm inside this thing. Woo! Alright, so yeah. Oh. Trying to get my beard out from being inside the jumper. So yeah. It's nice and toasty. It's good for the winter warmth. Very cozy in that. That's actually not too bad. Um, I just don't like hoodies that don't zip up. I don't like how... I, I pull them over my head, same as a bloody shirt. I don't have a problem with that. But it's just like, if I want to get off, get it off me, because I'm too warm, it's... That, that is annoying. Do you know what it actually is? It's because of my beard. <laughs> I don't think it's actually any other reason. My beard gets in the way and then I have to do the whole, oh god, oh, I have to tidy this up afterwards. So yeah, this is quite comfy. Uh, Game of Thrones themed hooded top with a nice design in the front of it. Just uh, flat grey. Uh, very, very, like, big on me. I think it's because the sizing is actually a little bit off. Um, I always give a slightly larger size for t-shirts and this one's kind of, you know, saggy in the arms and stuff. So, uh... This is actually definitely a kind of hang around your house kind of jumper. Uh, definitely not the something that I would wear on a regular basis. I would never wear a jacket over this because that would have me sweltered. Um, I'm always generally quite warm whenever I'm wearing things anyway. So let's take a look back into the crate and see what else is in here. All right, look, it's all nice and big, not a big and fleecy thing. So it's definitely you can tell it's the winter crate because they actually want us to make sure that we're staying nice and toasty warm. So this one is a super push through from Fantastic Beasts. So it's soft and warm. Okay, let's take a look at this because I'm. Um, Easily open it up, just take that off the side of it. So what is it actually, what is the design on it that shows here? So it says, wanted extremely dangerous. Huh, suppose, I mean that looks reasonably interesting. Um, oh, it's, it's actually tagged shut here. So this must, must be a certain size. I don't know if I want to untag that and unfurl it because then I have to pack it away again. But you can see the design of the shirt 
or design of this from here because it is exactly the same. It is just a wanted poster, so it's uh, wanted, extremely dangerous. I'm assuming this is actually the uh, main chap from Fantastic Beasts being chased down. Uh, I don't can't remember the name of the character. Uh, God, it's one of those ones like, I went and looked it up recently because I've been looking at the trailers and stuff for the movie. But um, yeah, that's interesting. If, uh, Harry Potter. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I want to bet you'd actually love this. It's very fleecy. It's so soft. It is actually like property, kind of like cozy. Like, this is a fleecy blanket that has been, not through the wars, but has been washed a number of times. This is a fleecy blanket that doesn't look quite as big as that. I mean, yeah. Imagine this is probably like a half the size, so it's actually be the half length of this couch. But it's uh, adjusted fleecy. It's unbelievably cozy and warm. That'd be, uh, somebody will really enjoy that. Um... Because again, I'm too warm. I don't need to worry about that. So another thing from the inside of the grid. We have a wolf medallion paperweight. Yeah, from The Witcher. Obviously, because they had The Witcher in the back of the box, they're going to have to have something from The Witcher on the inside. So uh, yeah, this is a paperweight. Let's uh, pop her open and take a wee look. So it's the wolf head medallion. Uh, if you're a cosplayer, this might actually be useful for um, modifying popping a wee chain in the back of it. And oh, it comes in a nice wee presentation box, actually. Yeah, oh, what's <laughs> still more layers. Hang on. We'll get out of it soon enough. Right. Uh, oh, this actually is a really nice presentation box. And that is sharp. <laughs> I stabbed myself in the hands. So yeah, in the presentation box like that, nice wee velvet kind of like look to the side of it. That's actually not too bad. And then of course the lid goes over the top like presentation wise. But uh, yeah, the actual medallion itself is a decent weight. It's a paperweight. So obviously it's like felt back to protect your desk. And um, very pointy. Ow, very pointy. <laughs> it's, all the, it's got all the pointy bits. Um, yeah, that's actually a good sharp metal. Although, I'm looking at here, is that actually intentional? Yeah, I was just checking. The top of the ears are actually a little bit frayed, but I think that's actually intentional. They're meant to have like a wee divot in the side of them as if they, um, it's the wee in bit of the ear. But yeah, that's actually not too bad. I like that. Kind of nice, shiny, shimmery, splendid. Um, obviously, if you actually had, if you're a cosplayer, you could actually get the, the neck medallion chain kind of thing going on with it. You pop the back of it off, put on it, glue onto an actual wee kind of loop, and then just kind of sit there quite comfortably in your chest. So yeah. Actually, not too bad. For all the Geralt Rivieras out there, I'm sure you'd actually probably enjoy that. Um, yeah, seeing Geralt, uh, Geralt uh, recently in that uh, Neo game, you know, the, the Japanese version of Geralt, just kind of wandering around, getting murdered over and over again as he fights giant demons. That game's uh, getting a lot of attention now because it's like Dark Source style kind of gameplay. Is it a friend of mine? Blue games coming out these days because we have that Let It Die as well. It came out for free on the PlayStation Four. So what else we got in here? The Nor Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. What is this one? It is a Harry Hogwarts Crest bookmark. All right, cool. So um, I'm a reader. I read a lot. Although admittedly, a lot of my reading is now digital because uh, it's just so much easier to carry a number of books that you're working through at the same time. And it, I was going to take that out, but it's kind of wedged in there. But yeah, there you go. That's a, a bookmark for your um, your favorite books. If you're actually a big fan of the uh, J.K. Rowling, <laughs> I don't remember her name for a second. Uh, J.K. Rowling's actual like. Um, over of books. This would actually go very well with it. If not, you'd actually use it in something else. So let's just see. Is it actually... Oh, it's not, it's not as detailed as I thought it was. I mean, it's got a really nice detail in the front of it, but at the back of it's actually just pretty plain looking. And of course, the Warner Brothers branding to go along with it. Um, yeah, nice wee metal bookmark for the Harry Potter fan or book fan in your life. So that's not too bad. Nice wee uh, Christmas gift uh, for somebody who's actually... like You'd be buying them about half a dozen books anyway, so you might as well give them a bookmark to go along with it. So uh, what else we got in here? We've got, of course, our big medallion uh, from Doctor Strange. This one's actually for uh, our Loot Crate pin this month, November. So this is the November one. Really? I suppose, I mean, it's actually November arriving in December, so we're actually, we haven't hit, we haven't hit our Christmas one yet, which is uh, probably going to be one of our last ones. So I, think, I think that's how long the crates have actually been going. Um, November crate, Doctor Strange pin. It looks like the Eye of Agamemno. Agamemnon? Agamemno? Agamemno? One of those ones. I'm pretty sure he was. Uh, so yeah, magical. It's a magical evening. It's a magical place. And of course we have a print, which I fucking despise. <laughs> I really don't like these. I haven't liked these since they started doing them. I'm never going to like them. Um, if they sent them in even the most modicum of frame, something that you can immediately mount onto your wall, not this. You, you don't mount this to your wall. You don't put a pin through the top of that and hang it from your wall. If they did that, then this might actually be worthwhile. This, as it is now, is a piece of paper that is going to sit in a drawer with all the other pieces of paper that I've gathered since we started doing the crits. It annoys me. It always has annoyed me. If they could not even put the modicum of actually putting like a 
plate, plastic plate and a backboard with a hook spot on it, just like that, just a bit of plexi, just a cheap piece of plexi that's actually the size of that, I'll put that at the bottom of the box. I know it would increase the weight of what they're shipping, but it's the one thing, it's, to, because the, the problem is you get this vintage print, oh it looks so pretty, but it doesn't go up on your fucking wall, because you have to go and find a frame that fits that then, which is pretty easy to do, you can get them from Ikea for a couple of pounds, but that extra level of effort is not what I'm going to put, uh, put to, what I will do is actually hang it up on my wall and change it every month as a new one comes up if they actually did a simple one with it, but no. They still haven't done that, and I've said it a couple of times in their surveys, so they really need to kind of thumb out of the ass, guys. It's really not that big of an ass, especially if we're going to be selling out other items, and especially in the Loot Crate DX. That's the one that actually annoys me. This makes the Loot Crate DX cheap. It really makes it feel cheap. It's the fact that it's an, un it's an unsealed bag that's not even the right size for the artwork. It doesn't, like, it actually folds over the side. That, that looks cheap because of it. It's a little bit, just a little modicum of actually preparation. I mean, you already have a backboard on it to keep it flat. Why? I lose my shit about that every single goddamn time. So, of course, we have our Loot Crit DX Heidi fucking glossy flyer thing here because this is going to make sure it's the next level loot that you feel like it is. And I might as well read the magical phrasing that they have in the back here. Alright. The path to becoming a supreme spellsinger is often paved with mystic battles and warring kingdoms. Prepare yourself for throne-bound glory with bell-binding goods to take you to the next level of wizardry in this 100% exclusive crate. By the hoary hosts of Hogoth, this Eye of Agamemnon replica pin is astounding. Disclaimer will not give you the powers like Doctor Strange, we think. Right, so what was on the inside of this? It was the Mystical Doctor Strange Vintage Print, The Witcher 3 Insignia Pewter Paperweight, The Harry Potter Metal Bookmark, Fantastic Beats and Beasts and Where to Find Them Throw, and The Game of Thrones Lord of Light Hoodie. Yeah. So guys, real talk. Loot Crate is a bit garbage. I mean, I can feel comfortable saying that because I'm actually coming to the end of my... Um, contract of doing these little videos. Okay, I'm done with my 12 months of it. I kind of can say whatever I want to say. And um, subscription boxes have failed miserably. Mostly because they take the same effect that old uh, subscription services for magazines used to do where you'd get a uh, reduced price on boxes XYZ and then charge more for the next few boxes, and then you would actually that be that's how they would mitigate their cost by having a bunch of new people constantly doing those cheap three boxes, but then having that impact on the people who are paying full price for the boxes because they have to subsidize the cost of the contents that way. Now, obviously they're there to make a profit. That's grand. That's fine. But um, I haven't felt like a box has actually been really worth its value in a long, long time, and nobody really can kind of. Uh, Truly, I, I can't value every item that's inside these boxes, but not a single one of them, if sold on eBay individually, would total to the amount of any of the main boxes. That's what I think. That's what, that's what I honestly think. I don't think the items total up on eBay second hand to even the amount of the box, let alone what the uh, specified value of what the contents of the box would be, just because of the plentifulness of their items. And especially whenever you run into items, like say the uh, Hulk that we have sitting up there, which was a figure in a uh, Loot Crate box a long time ago, which is now available on store shelves in a bargain store for two, three pound. If they have hundreds of those sitting on a shelf in a bargain store this Christmas, and they give it away 68 months ago for free, or for free, in one of these crates, it's always that they overproduce them for the point of actually like, putting them into these kind of things. And they're not because they're exclusive, because obviously it's just like those supply those figures didn't do very well. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a perfect example I can just literally point to on my shelf of something that would claim to be worth X, but obviously was not worth as much because it's essentially the idea of like rarity and exclusivity is the reason why. So we're saying a 100% exclusive box, but 100% of garbage is still garbage. So um, yeah guys, that's my sign off for Loot Crate for probably this, for this month. I don't think there's anything else to arrive this month. Um, we will probably be back in December with uh, the last couple of crates as these finish, filter their way through to the end. And uh, I want to say thank you very much for actually watching, anybody who's watched the series for the last year and have picked up all the crates and seen the contents of them and actually been excited by any of the items. Um, I, I'm, I, I've am i never falsely got excited about the contents. I actually have honestly been excited by a lot of stuff, but uh, a lot of that excitement has been because of the initial surprise and excitement of getting the boxes 
then seeing particular things I wanted to see in them, but never ever really kind of like massively super enjoying them. I had one box that I really really enjoyed, and it's the only one I've never done a video for because we had massive technical errors with the footage. And that was the Mecha box from Lucrit DX, uh, which came with a Gundam kit and a Pacific Rim uh, robot and a couple other bits and pieces that were related to Mecha. That was a really good crate. That was actually, that crate made me smile and I was giddy and I was really enjoying it. It was the last of the crates that actually had that fold over as well that allowed me to actually be surprised by everything that was inside the Lucrit DX, which I lost because of them removing that. I, I don't have the same excitement that I had too whenever I was getting them. And that was for a piece of paper. Like that's a, that's how. That's how tight they've gotten in this, that they won't put the the wrapping paper that was for the the uh, the high class boxes in it anymore because that adds to packing time and probably adds to shipping weight by tiny amount and probably costs them an extra few pence. That that is a perfect example of why this crate has gone down, like from what it was to what it is, and even whenever what it was wasn't that great, and that was one of the last ones that did that. So I'm surprised that we actually got something good in there. So yeah, the crates. You can head over to the link over here on the side, there'll be the listing of all the loot crates I've done so far. You can go back and look at through history, you can see me go up and down mood wise with what's inside them. You can of course see what's the most recent thing on the channel in the video box underneath that. And if you hit the click up at the top link, it'll be a subscription link for you to come and join me here on the channel to see any of the times I release something if you're a new subscriber. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, loot crate is on its way out, but I'm still here. And I will not be going anywhere anytime soon. So I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.